New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. I was in Harbor Freight last weekend stocking up on flashlights. I actually planned on buying a couple more of these guys when I stumbled across this guy. Now, as you know, I am addicted to flashlights. As I said in a previous video, I will put a link up there and being the very weak man that I am, I went ahead and purchased this flashlight as it is the brightest flashlight that Harbor Freight currently sells. Now, typically when I buy flashlights, I'm pretty frugal. I try to buy something that works for me, something that's relatively bright, something that recharges. However, this thing was advertised as 6,000 lumen and quite honestly, I just could not help myself. So in the cart, it went. Now, in case you don't know what a lumen is, well, that's a measurement of light. And if you don't know how bright 6,000 is, apparently Apparently it's a lot. Now this is a big flashlight. It measures about 11 and a half inches long and at the widest point it is just a little bit over two inches. It's also relatively heavy. I'm gonna guess maybe near two pounds, maybe a little less than two pounds, but it's definitely not light. So I don't think this is gonna be your everyday carry flashlight, but it is so cool. It's worth taking a look at. It has a twist to zoom. It basically has a magnification of four times. So you can put it into like a floodlight mode or like a spot mode simply by twisting it. Underneath the little rubber flapper door, you can see there's a couple of USB ports. One is a USB-C and that is what you use to charge it with. The other one is a standard USB port and that is because you can charge other USB devices off of this particular flashlight. It has an incredibly large battery inside. When you first plug the USB cable into it and you start charging the flashlight, it'll light up red. When it's completely charged, this little light will turn green. The button also lights up when you have the flashlight on. It'll light up green. Operating the flashlight is pretty easy. You just press the power button one time and it'll light up in a dim mode. This dim mode will last about 40 hours on battery. Press it again and it gets a little bit brighter. And actually that's quite bright. And the third time you carry around the sun. If you hold this button down before you turn the flashlight on, it'll operate those levels of brightness in reverse. The brightest will come on first, Press it again, it'll dim down a little bit and press it one more time and it goes to the super dim mode. If you need to use this as a distress flashlight or you need to have a seizure, just press it two times quickly, it'll go into strobe mode. The entire end is technically a giant heat sink as you can see and it needs it because this end gets really, really hot when you use it in the brightest settings. Now it is very difficult for me to show to you just how bright this flashlight is. The tree line in the background that you're currently looking at is about 180 feet away. And I have the flashlight in spot mode and you can see it puts a really good spot on that tree line. And if I flood it out, it lights up the backyard really well, as you can see. Now we live out in the country and there really are no other city lights around. So it's always dark in the backyard anyhow. There's also no other lights on in my backyard. All the lights have been turned off so you can see just how bright this flashlight is. The end of the flashlight is also glow in the dark. So after you use the light and turn it off, it lights up green for some time. Now the end of the flashlight does unscrew and the batteries that are inside are replaceable. They are just standard 26650 batteries. So there you have my quick and dirty review of Harbor Freight's ridiculously bright flashlight. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.